Today we are studying the typical ribs. Parts of a typical rib are head, neck, tubercle, and the shaft. Now the fine points for the side determination. The anterior end is having a concave depression, whereas the posterior end has the head, neck, and a tubercle. Concavity of the rib faces medially. The lower part of the inner surface of the shaft presents a coastal groove. The upper border is rounded and the lower border is thin. So the given bone, the given rib is the right side. Now going to the features of the rib. As mentioned earlier, it is having anterior end, posterior end and a shaft. Anterior end, it is oval shaped and has a cup shaped depression. Anterior end forms costochondral joint, which is a primary cartilaginous joint. Posterior end has head, neck, and a tubercle. The head lies at junction of two vertebrae and comprises of two articular facet. The two facets are separated by crest. This is called as the crest of head. This crest of head lies opposite the intervertebral disc. The lower larger facet articulates with the body of numerically corresponding vertebra, while the upper small facet articulates with the next higher vertebra. The neck. It lies in front of the transverse process of corresponding vertebra. It has two borders, superior and inferior border, and two surfaces, anterior and posterior surface. Superior border of the neck is also called as the crest of neck. It is thin and sharp. Inferior border is smooth and round. Now the tubercle, it is situated on outer surface of the rib. at junction of neck with the shaft it is divided into articular and non articular part so the medial articular part articulates with the corresponding transverse process of the vertebra and the lateral part gives attachment to the lateral costo transverse ligament now we'll see the shaft the major part of the rib which intervenes between anterior and posterior ends of the ribs is called the shaft it is thin and flat the shaft is curved it is angulated there is a bend in a rib about 5 cm in front of the tubercle it is called as the posterior angle or the angle of rib similarly there is a bend 2 cm behind the anterior end of the rib and this is called the anterior angle of the rib shaft is twisted due to which the rib cannot touch the horizontal plane shaft has two borders superior and inferior two surfaces outer surface and the inner surface now the superior border is thick and rounded it has two lips outer lip and the inner lip outer lip receives insertion of external intercostal muscle whereas the inner lip receives insertion of internal intercostal and intercostalis intimus muscle inferior border is sharp and forms the lower border of costal groove external intercostal muscle originates from the lower border now the surface is outer surface is smooth and concave posterior angle which is marked by a ridge provides attachment to the posterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia serratus anterior muscle arises from the outer surface just behind the anterior angle the inner surface it is concave and smooth it presents a costal groove in its lower part 
coastal groove lodges the intercostal vein intercostal artery and the intercostal nerve internal intercostal muscle originates from the floor of the coastal groove